Hi everyone, it's me, David. I hope you're having a great day. And here is today's philosophical point. Live consistently. When people set out to improve themselves, when people set out to improve their lives, they figure out that one thing they have to work on is consistency. You don't want to do one thing you think is important today and then something totally different tomorrow and only get back to the first thing next week. Consistency is key. Consistency is also key to living as the Stoics recommend, to living out Stoic principles and practices. And in fact, Zeno, the founder of Stoicism himself, formulated the goal of life as to live consistently. Now, I do understand that what Zeno said is been translated differently. It's also translated as live in agreement. And scholars and philosophers dispute whether this is what Zeno really said, because apparently it's incomplete what Zeno says, and so it's poor Greek. So some claim that Zeno must have really said to live in agreement with nature, or to live consistently with nature. Now, however that dispute is resolved, it's important to recognize that consistency is still key to living as a Stoic would. And it's not really hard to see why. Because if you're going to live a virtuous life, you have to do what is the right thing. You have to do what is fitting every time. So you still would have to be consistent. Now, you don't have to take it from me just as a logical point. Seneca himself said, make progress and before all else, endeavor to be consistent with yourself. And you can see him t uh, mentioning consistency at many points throughout his letters. So this raises the question, how should I be more consistent? And if you think about it just as something to apply to your life, it can be a little intimidating because we are inconsistent, we change our minds a lot, and how can I apply consistency to the whole of what I do? I think at this point it's good to turn to Epictetus. So what, what does Epictetus have to say that's related to this? He says, we should discipline ourselves in little things and from there progress to what is uh, to things of greater value. And I think that's a good guide as to how to start. So here's what I would do if I wanted to live more consistently, and I do. So the life that you're living now, as it contains many inconsistencies, don't try to be consistent for all the things that you're doing, but rather Think of something that you've meant to do for a while, something that's good to include in your life, such as a new diet or a new exercise program, and do as Epictetus says. Start with something small. Say you're going to go for a 20-minute walk every day, and I would actually recommend forget about everything else. So. Just stick with the 20 minute walk a day and count each one that you complete as a win. And even though you're not applying consistency to other areas of your life, well, you're gonna start valuing it more because you, you're starting to think it's important. And there will be spillover effects from your walk to other things that you're doing. So you'll start to see over time, you're becoming a little more consistent in not just the thing that you focused on, but other things. And after a while, when you've become pretty consistent at this one thing, you're gonna to want to make that walk a little longer and 
take up something else to apply consistency to. So even when it comes to giving us tips for consistency, I think if you look in the right places, the Stoics will have things to say of great value. Well, that's today's philosophical point. I would like you to like, subscribe, and check out below for some information about what I do, and have a great day. It's up to you.